Okay, we've got our wiring in. It's all tucked up under the headliner. Switches are there. Gonna go back in the console and we can put it all up. The cowl is back in place. That's what our power supply looks like under there. This is, I had some trouble. This is the marker lights on the roof rack and the wire that is tapped into the parking lights on the Jeep. They didn't play well together last night. We had an issue with with the ground. Didn't have the GoPro here. Um, I can show you. I, I don't really understand. Um, it was it was very interesting. Uh, the the when we touched the ground wire, the the marker lights came on, and they would flicker when you. Uh, open and close the door so I there's a, sh huh? a short somewhere and I, I don't know there was we've never had an issue with the battery draining um, so I one of the things I thought was that it was a bad ground so I ran a ground I, I took the grinder clean that off um, Ran, I cleaned off underneath the hatch here. Uh, obviously, we're going to shorten this up. We're going to keep this because you can't ever have uh, too many grounds. So one thing I was thinking, but it doesn't explain why there, why there was power in the first place. Um, but there is no ground wire from my ground stud to the chassis. And maybe... Everything works. Everything else except the, the marker lights worked. And we did end up burning out the marker lights. Um, going from a 15 to a 25 amp fuse with no fuse between the auxiliary lights and, and the power. We, we toasted about $60 worth of LEDs. Um, so that's kind of frustrating. But... Um, and it, what's even more frustrating is not understanding why it did it and um, why, why there was power to those lights when they're not hooked to anything. We pulled, I pulled all the power each individually from each and, and it didn't make any difference. Um, electricity. But every, you know, that we'll, we'll do a video on them when we figure them out. But right now we're, um, we're going to get the dash back together. We do have extra wires run. We showed you that uh, for exactly this kind of thing. Dumb, stupid stuff happens. And, and you know, um, the other wire that we don't have hooked up is for the, to tie into the reverse lights. And that one's just laying here and we'll coil that up. That'll be a project again for another day. Uh, so we're going to get this finished tonight. And I'll get the video up. Um, get it loading overnight and work on it tomorrow morning early. So it'll be up so people can see it. Yeah, you can shut it off. Okay. Everything's all buttoned up again. We, we didn't get everything run. We had some problems, but the battery connections, uh, you know, hindsight always, but we, we can clean these up a little bit. Or maybe, well, um, the cowl, apparently the heat, uh, warp the panel a little bit, but we're, I'm thinking something rubber, like a piece of floor mat or something, 
that will rivet on and, and seal up um, to cover up that that gap. We'll put it on the top here and on the underneath on the on the other side. But uh, why don't you shut your door, hon? Okay, here's the marker lights. Notice that the marker lights don't come on on the rack. We had a problem with that. Uh, not really sure what it was. That's for another day. So put on your uh, headlights. Okay, now put on your high beams. Now put on the front ones. There we go. Looks good. Okay, shut them off. Now put on the side ones. In the back. And the other side. There, it really turned out well. Only took us a week. <laughs> and that's not counting what it took for you to build it. Yeah, that was probably another week. Um, maybe you should turn the switches on. Oh, sorry, hon. Turn the switches on. Get a get a video of the. Of the switches. The headlight one doesn't light up very well. It's just the coloring. Still need to do a little work on that panel too. They didn't quite. Uh, the, the switches didn't have enough room in the back. But uh, we're going to figure something out for that too. So that's it.